Ladies and gentlemen, friends of the people of Iran, I am Joe Wilson, I, a member of Congress uh, from the state of South Carolina, and I'm grateful to have this invitation to participate in this virtual Iranian American conference. I am so appreciative of the Iranian American community of South Carolina, very successful um, uh, citizens and uh, persons that reflect so well on the tremendous uh, culture of Iran. I have so much respect and appreciation for the freedom-loving Iranian people and their rich ancient culture and heritage. The Persian culture inspired a vibrant and valued civilization that has been tragically hijacked by the corrupt and tyrannical mullahs in Tehran. It's gruesome to watch as the regime spreads and sends billions of dollars abroad to fund wars in Lebanon, in Yemen, in Iraq, and elsewhere, Iranian Americans and other Iranians suffer at home. Even during the coronavirus pandemic, the regime does not cease its support for terrorism around the world at the expense of the people of Iran with over 8,000 Iranians killed by the invisible enemy itself, and that may be a tragic understatement. But there's good news. The people of Iran have not been hoodwinked. You know well this regime, what they're up to. You have uh, broadcast and uh, been so uh, successful uh, in indicating what the cost of freedom is. You have sacrificed the family members, loved ones, and friends to advocate for rights for the and peace for, and for liberty for the people of Iran. I am here today to tell you, the Iranian people, that we in Congress will never cease extending to support you and your fight for democracy and freedom. The Iranian American community uh, is an inspiration to us and an inspiration to support you. As the chairman of the Foreign Affairs and National Security Task Force of the Republican Study Committee, I have just released a report calling for the strongest ever package of sanctions against the Iranian regime. This will include mandatory snapback sanctions and indefinite arms embargo, and as well targeted sanctions on Iran's petrochemical, automotive, and construction sectors. We'll also continue to go after Iran's proxies around the world and push for designation of Iranian-backed militias in Iraq and in Yemen. But most importantly, this report calls to support the democratic aspirations of the extraordinary people of Iran. It is our hope that one day soon, we will all be marching hand in hand together for a free democratic Iran. Thank you again for having me here today. It's a pleasure to talk with you and God bless the people of Iran.